in marriages, in uh, parties, in ceremonies, in duty, in anywhere when they work, they have to do these things. Because girls like beauty. They like beauty and they need to do these things. So I will read your comments. Maybe if some comment is left, I will answer you. Okay, habits, good and bad habits, to some extent we can say these habits may be counted as personality. Communication is a skill. Any person, if for example one person cannot speak now, if a person just help him or her to some extent, he or she can develop just communication skill. If for example one person in his country, he, he, he even cannot speak with uh, his friends and fellows, if he went to some other country and there he got a good environment of learning another language, he become trained to that language and he become a skillful for that language. When he back to his country, uh, he have so good uh, communication skills. Did the just communication skills change his personality? Maybe he is a uh, the same as the real character in his country but just he learned one skill that is the just communication also maybe some people to whom he meet to whom with he lived they can impact something on, on his personality and maybe he behave not like the previous one how he was in his country this we can say the change in personality but Behavior is not constant. Behavior and attitudes. Also psychology discuss these two things that are not constants. These are inconstant things. The behavior of a person can be so good with you in a moment. In another moment, that person who takes care of you, who loves you, who cares you, who every time asks you, can change his behavior or her behavior due to the situation so behavior and attitudes this depends upon the situation the real situation so personality is the same we especially reflect behavior or attitude of a person as personality and we see and especially we uh, respect some noble or respectful or respectable or noble people of our society. Why? Because we are thinking these are respectful because they have a developed personality. They follow some laws and rules and they made some principles for them. So we are respecting those people for their personality and we are expecting their personality is based on some principles, on some foundations. So that's why we are respecting the most uh, respectable people in our society. Everywhere in a society where you are living, there are some notable people in that area who can make a decision and that uh, who have a special status, that status is given by that society where uh, we all are living. So those notables have a good personality due to their principles which they have developed for their personality. But for the people who are in law, the definition of personality is a little different. That depends upon their mood. The mood that is attitude and behavior. One day we will discuss attitude and behavior, what is the difference between them. Attitude and behavior both are not the same, both are different. If you have more questions, you can write in comments, I will reply everyone.